feel like people have always made a lot of mods and CC for babies in The Sims 4, but back in the day, I think most of that came from us just being so desperate for some sort of baby update that a lot of modders were making stuff to try and fix the bassinet babies themselves. Loads of people used to use like CC cribs to replace the bassinets and all kinds of other baby stuff, but now that we finally have a real infant update out and like a whole brand new life state, there is so much opportunity for cool mods and people have been making loads of them. So I thought today we could go through a couple cool mods for infants that I found. This entire video was actually inspired by a CC changing table that I saw, so I think we'll start there. Little Dika made this Little Winers base game changing station set, and it's got two. It has like a regular one and also a wall hanging one. Something kind of cool about this is it's base game compatible, so even if you don't have Growing Together, you can still download it. I think that's one of the bigger complaints about infants, because they locked changing tables behind Growing Together. They didn't just come in the base game. I have been so desperate for nursery furniture for so long, so having this come out and then be only in the pack is kind of annoying. Now, I don't mean to brag, but Little Dika actually came into my Twitch chat and asked me what to name this item, so my chat suggested some options, and he picked one of them. I even got credited. I didn't do anything. I just was there, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. I'm gonna download this quickly, and then we can pop into the game and check it out. I got us a couple sims so we could test all this, but I want to quickly place this object down, because first of all, this is so cute. I love the clutter in it, how it's got like the wipes and all the little diapers and everything, and it actually comes in a whole bunch of swatches. He tried to make it match like the growing together stuff, but he also added a couple variants, so there's like a plain version, a sticker version, and a chalk version, so it has like some little drawings on the side. Isn't that just so cute? He also made a trash can that slots just like the other ones do. That'll come in all the same matching swatches, obviously, and then we have the wall variant. Um, <laughs> I should probably put it inside instead of on this exterior wall. This one comes in all the same matching swatches as well, but I'm pretty sure that we have to like open it to see everything. Oh my god, look at all the stickers! Isn't that so cute? I've been sat here wondering why I can't change her diaper. Maybe because it's not dirty. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if we can get her to use it, then we can try. Change Betty's diaper. It works. <laughs> I mean, that part's not all that interesting. I'm- I'm more concerned about how cute it is. Oh, pee on caregiver. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Anyway, it has a blue swatch, white, green, purple, another shade of blue, there's kind of a wooden color, pink, this light color, it comes in black, it comes in yellow, more pink, and orange. So this is gonna match like all kinds of nurseries, and I love the clutter in it. I think this is just so cute. I'm gonna link everything we talk about today in order, by the way, so hopefully it's easy for you all to find. But if any of you don't have Growing Together and you've been desperate for a changing table, hopefully you like this one. This next thing I want to show you is a slightly different vibe. It's actually a Milestone Toggle mod. This one's by Twisted Mexi, and basically the idea is that you can type in a cheat to toggle all of the Milestone unlockable interactions. So this way, if you have Growing Together, you can make it so babies can like sit up or crawl and things without having to actually learn how to do it first. I don't feel the need to use this like all the time, but it might be useful for like certain circumstances. It's just nice to have the option to cheat it if you need to. And some people just like are not family players and they don't want to have to worry about teaching the kids stuff. So obviously by default when you have Growing Together, the infants kind of don't really do anything. Like you can do tummy time to try and teach them how to do stuff, but they have to unlock all the milestones to be able to sit up and crawl and all those things. So with this mod, you can type in this cheat tm.toggle milestones, and when you do that, it toggles them so the kid can actually do stuff. You can see she sat straight up. If I bought a high chair, I could use it, even though she hasn't actually learned how to use it yet. So I can help Betty try her first baby food, we can do some, like, lemon or something. <laughs> that actually feels kind of mean. And she disliked it. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. She can even try the finger foods when normally you'd have to learn how to grab things first. And then if you want to, you can just turn it back off again, and then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> this might not be for everybody, but it is useful to have the option if you want to get like a certain screenshot, or you know, if you're sick of trying to teach them stuff. This won't be a thing that I use constantly, but sometimes it's nice just to have some extra cheats up your sleeve. Honestly, sometimes the game just doesn't work and you need to have some cheats to fix it. This next post is the other reason that I wanted to make this video, because I saw a winged llama make these conversions of some Sims 2 and Sims 3 furniture. So we have the Sims 2 sanitation station, the Sims 3 kinder container, there's a diaper pail, a couple of classic cribs from The Sims 2. If any of you played the older Sims games, you probably recognize these things, but we have a couple old changing tables, we have like the base game default Sims 3 crib, this was The Sims 3 store content changing table. This is like speaking to my little inner child, I'm so excited 
excited to have these things in The Sims 4. I downloaded all of them so that we can see them all, but maybe I'll put some lights in here first because um, it is a little bit dark inside of this little house. So this first one is The Sims 3 Kinder Container Crib, and The Sims 3 was my first Sims game. So this to me is very nostalgic. It comes in a plain white swatch, but also a couple other like cute pastel swatches. There's some cute star and moon swatches. And then we also have this super cute patterned one. This will function just like any other crib in game. Also from The Sims 3, we have this changing table. This item was store content in The Sims 3. And if you're unfamiliar with that concept, basically that means that you had to pay real money for this one item. You could buy it in sets, but like they would sell things for like $1 for one item. This is the item on The Sims 3 store. You see how it costs 599 sim points? That means it costs $6. $5.99 for one item. The Sims 3 store was wild. It was really, really bad. You know, we think it's bad The Sims 4 got these only in the expansion pack, but in The Sims 3, we only had it on the store. So this is more than one kit. I'm telling you, The Sims 3 store was so bad. But anyway, you can now have it for free in The Sims 4 if you download the CC version. This item is so cute. I've always been obsessed with this thing too. I like used to watch all these YouTubers that had it and I was so jealous of them. We have this stink no more diaper trash can as well. Then we have this Sims 2 crib, which by the way is really fancy. This thing is so beautiful. The cribs that we got in The Sims 4 are nothing like this, so it's kind of fun to have this one, especially if you played The Sims 2. I'm running out of space, but we also got two Sims 2 changing tables, and these both just have some cute swatches that match those cribs, and they function so you can change their diapers, change their outfits. I need to see this Sims 3 one in action. It's actually really important to me. Not the welcome wagon. Can you go away? I'm extremely busy right now. Well, there it works. And she threw the diaper. Um, I don't even see it. That's fine. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. This next thing that I want to show you honestly isn't even just about infants. It's more just like in general. It's these CC eyelashes because I used to use these eyelashes for all of my Sims. I don't really use any custom content for Cass anymore, but back in the day when I did use CC, I used to put these eyelashes on every single Sim and they made a version for infants. So I thought I would mention it. I know a lot of people like really love these eyelashes and always use them. So in case you hadn't seen them, I'll link them down below for all ages. I have not had these lashes in years, and I'm not kidding when I say I used to always use them, so it's kind of fun to download them again. Here are the eyelashes in-game for adults, and there's a whole bunch of different varieties for them. You can also get them as an accessory or as a skin detail. The problem with them being an accessory is that obviously you can't have glasses and the eyelashes, but if they're a skin detail, you can, if that makes sense. And then here is that infant version, and you know what? They come in a lot more swatches than I realized. There's also a whole bunch of different variants of them. I'm probably not going to use these just because I literally don't have any Create a Sim CC right now, but I wanted to link them for you because I figured a lot of you would probably like them. And while we're in cast, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. This is a one sock variant for infants. We previously had one for toddlers, but this person converted them for infants. It, it's literally just one sock. But look at how cute this is because they kicked off one of the socks, so they only have a sock on one foot. It's got all the same swatches as the regular base game sock, except um, it's it's just on like, you know, one foot instead. I love this kind of like cute little thing for babies. I feel like a lot of the clothing we get, more so for toddlers than infants, obviously, just kind of feels a little bit older. So it's really cute to have cutesy little kid things like, um, you know, just <laughs> one sock. I realize I'm saying that after I just showed you some infant eyelashes, but they're kind of just two different styles of Sims. I'm just trying to show you all the options. Okay, this next thing though is more of an in-game item. This is an infant play mat, the Dangle Master Deluxe by Sims Labs. This one's inspired by a Sims 2 store item. So this one, the base game version, functions just like the base game crib that you can drag and move around. But if you have Growing Together, this version is the same thing, but instead it functions like the play mat from Growing Together. So you can do like tummy time, they can play with the toys on it, stuff like that. I am like obsessed with that play mat from Growing Together, so I'm really excited to have another version. So the kid can do tummy time and stuff on here, just like a regular play mat. I just think this is so cute, and there's a couple different color variants. There's like this blue one, we got pink, orange, green, blue, and then more of like a rainbow color scheme. If you get the base game version instead, the game's gonna treat it like this crib, so you can like click and drag it in game and the sim can sleep in it, you can upgrade it, kind of stuff like that, because you can add a baby mobile to this thing as well. The next thing that I want to show you is also by Sims Labs, and this is a bottle replacement. It's just kind of cute because it replaces that default EA bottle with like a cuter version that also has different colors, so you can pick any color you want. The default one isn't like 
bad necessarily. It's just kind of fun to have some more variants. I think that I'm gonna pick the pink version. This is a default replacement, so you have to pick just one, and then in game it'll automatically replace it, and the Sims will use that one instead. The number of times that I have closed and reopened my game today for us to test all these things out. We're coming back though so we can see the bottle, and then I have just one more mod to show you. So now when I feed the baby with the bottle, it's just gonna look a little bit different. <laughs> it's not like a groundbreaking change, okay? It's just gonna be cuter. So instead, look at how much cuter that bottle is. The bottle is bigger, and then it has like the pink accent instead. It's just a small little thing, but if you wanted to have a different bottle, you can have a couple different color variants instead of the default one. And last but certainly not least, this one is also a default override, but it doesn't replace anything. It just gets rid of something. So if you're ever annoyed about that rug constantly spawning and your sim putting the baby down on it, this override just hides the rug so you don't have to see it anymore. It says, ever looked at a baby with underdeveloped neck muscles, bad balance, and no core strength and wish they weren't lying on a comfy little rug? No, me neither. But here's the bye-bye baby rug anyway. So it literally just hides that rug that spawns basically. So if I put the baby down, she should just be on the cold hardwood floor. Except she has the sit-up milestone so she doesn't need the rug. Okay, hold on. I need a new baby. Okay, Beatrice. <laughs> That's a little bit too close to Betty. I really did replace her. Oh my gosh. Well there, she's on the floor and there's no rug underneath her. <laughs> That's all it does. Normally it would have that little purple pink rug spawning, but instead she's just there on the hardwood floor. So, um, sorry to the babies. We are removing all of your comfort, I guess. <laughs> I feel like most of the mods today were to make the babies' lives better. This one objectively makes their lives worse. But I mean, it's it's all about how you want your game to look, right? <laughs> That's just the whole point of these. You might not even want to use it. It's more just to give you all the options. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to find mods, so it's nice to do these little videos and show off some cool things that I found. I've made a whole bunch of mod videos in the past, so if you're curious about any of those, I can link some down below. We've seen a ton of build CC, but I've also done a few mod reviews of like mod mods. For example, there's one that kind of adds a color wheel into the game. So if you're curious about that, I'll put it on the end card in a couple seconds here. And please check out all the mods that we've linked down below. These modders work really hard to make super cool stuff for us to use, so huge shout out to all of them. Thank you for watching, have the best rest of your day, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. Honestly, I don't know how they do it. These modders are carrying the Sims community. They make so much cool stuff.